How often should you tune your piano? That is today's question on this musical podcast. I am Christopher Brent. I'm a piano teacher and a music educator, and I just had my piano tuned. And I was thinking I would share some of these tips and ideas with you out there. So this is going to be obviously geared towards piano enthusiasts. So the answer to that question, how often should you tune your piano? The simplest answer is going to be every six months. So it's like getting the oil changed on your car. Basically, you got to take care of your piano. you got to maintain it, and it does require service. So you got to get it tuned at least every six months, at the latest maybe a year, but you're kind of stretching it. And, of course, there's going to be a few things to factor in here. It's going to be humidity levels, where you have the piano in the house, what the temperature is like and what the air is like, what time of year it is, how often you play it. In my case, because I'm teaching on my piano, I have to get it tuned a little bit more often. And sometimes I, I forget that, actually. I kind of fail to think about how often it's played. I know the sound will maybe go out to tune a little bit faster when it's played more often, and I hear that, and that's usually when I know it's time. Uh, to get it tuned again. But also, over time, if you let it go too long, sometimes the technician has to come back and uh, tune it again a second time uh, right away. So it has to get tuned almost uh, in, in two short intervals like that. So there's all kinds of issues you can run into. Sometimes if it goes so long, the strings can get really in, in wacky positions, so to speak. Um, I'm not a piano technician, I should say that, <laughs> right off the bat. I'm only speaking as a uh, pianist, as a, as a player. I'm, I'm speaking from that perspective. But you got to get your piano tuned. Uh, if you let it go for years and years without getting tuned, uh, some other issues could come up, and you don't want that to happen. So try to think of it like going to the dentist or getting your um, the oil changed on your car. Think of that six-month interval as a time to get your piano tuned and you'll tell by sound a lot of times I forget really when it was the last time I had it tuned but I know by how it sounds that it needs some maintenance and it needs some work so definitely contact a local reputable piano technician in your area to come take a look at your piano and sometimes there's other things maybe there's sticky keys or maybe there's something wrong with the pedal uh, in my case my piano has some other issues with the bushings and let offs and other little things inside the piano. Uh, the hammers, I need new hammers too. It's been a long time, maybe some reshaping of hammers. So there's a few extras that get thrown in there after a while if you really want to get the best sound out of your piano. And that's really important to me because I'm teaching on the instrument and I want a piano. That sounds good, right? I have a beautiful Petrov piano that I practice on and teach on. It's actually an upright piano. It's a studio upright and I just absolutely love the thing. And then I uh, have access to a few other grand pianos close by for performance when we need a concert grand piano. So, uh, But I, I uh, love the Petrov that I have. It's near and dear to me. So I may do another podcast on what's the best piano out there. Everyone asks me what brand is the best brand and is Steinway all that good and all that. And Maybe I'll do a, a podcast just talking about some specifics from a player's perspective. I'm not a piano technician. My piano technician colleagues know every little thing about the inside of a piano. It's amazing. I learn something new from them every day and it is an art. It really is. A piano technician knows these things in a way that's truly amazing and it it's a craft so hats off to all the piano technicians out there we love you keep up the good work and make sure um, if you are someone who has a piano to take care of it there are climate control systems that do exist if you have a piano in a room where the temperature might change a lot or there's a lot of humidity Especially in wintertime, there's issues you know, where the heat will go on and off some days. And here in Michigan, it can be 45, 50 degrees in wintertime. And then 
two days later it's 10 degrees below zero so there's going to be more heat going you know on the colder days and then there's going to be less heat going in the house when the temperature is warm so this fluctuation can really throw off things so there are climate control systems that you can put into pianos that regulates everything so there's less of an issue in circumstances like this so that's something to look into they're not too expensive uh, there's other uh, things you can do you can uh, have little uh, containers with water nearby or even inside the piano during the winter months to help regulate things a little bit more so you got to look at where things are and what the situation is in terms of where your piano is located there's some kind of some old things about like don't have the piano near a window or like an outside wall or things like that but nowadays construction is so much better in houses generally speaking so that might not have as much of an issue as it used to in years past so get your piano tune contact a local qualified piano technician and you can look up things online and look at reviews and testimonials and things like that of local piano technicians so every six months that's going to be the, the key date that you're looking for when you want to tune your piano so if you have questions email me at chrisbrentmusic at gmail.com subscribe to my youtube channel and visit my website at www.christopherbrent.com thank you so much and have a wonderful day.